So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use a little pre-stain on our wood surface. I find this works best for virgin wood. Put it on springly. Now this is birch plywood with MDF core. It works about the same with regular plywood. And we'll let that sit overnight and then we'll sand it in the morning and then we'll continue. Okay, now the sand and sealer is dry. I went and sanded it with 220. So now I'm gonna do this one in a blue uh, Blue Thunder, and I'll just get that going. Which board down a little bit. Work that in. Now I like to push in and get it deep down as far as I can in the grain. I like to see a little bit of the grain show through so I don't get it on there too thick. It will darken up with the next step we do with the tongue wheel. So we'll uh, let that dry and then we'll uh, come back to the next step. Okay, well I pushed a little spit. I basically just keep on pushing it until it, it uh, dries a little bit. And um, it's a nice even look. See all the grain in there? That's cold out here. It's only four degrees outside, so I'm gonna put it in the house so it dries faster, and then uh, we'll put some tongue oil on. All right, board is dry. Looks fantastic. See all that wood grain in there? So now I'm gonna take a Watco Tongue Oil um, finish. And all I do is pour a little bit of that on there. Push it around. I want to use quite a get it nice and saturated because I think this is what really makes the effect work. The only thing it takes a long time for this to dry, it seems, especially when it's cold out now. But I really think the tongue oil makes really makes the grain pop. And this has got a little bit of a yellow tint, so it kind of looks like it's turning it green a little bit. But it'll darken up and it'll be a beautiful blue. Now let that sit. And let that dry. And then if it soaks in a lot, then I will make one more pass. And it's good. All right, it's been a couple hours. Um, board still has a little bit of wetness on it, but it's dried off on most parts. So I'm going to throw another colt on. Don't have to go too thick this time. Basically, I want to see. This whole board glossy with tongue oil. So we'll get that mixed in and 
Then I'll show you the next step. Once this is dry, another probably another two hours or maybe tomorrow. All right, spitters. My board is ready to go. First, once your tongue oil is dry, now it still feels a little sticky. It got cold, but I think we're fine. Basically, I'm just going to spray it with some water. I'm going to cut it with 600 or 400 grit sandpaper. This stuff works really good. It lasts way long, and I think this stuff works the best. I'm just going to don't have to overly work the sanding, but basically we're just going to rough the surface up enough and you can kind of feel it ball up if you got a lot of tongue oil on there. I did end up putting two coats on it, but it soaked most of it in except for some parts. And see how it sticks to the paper, I just wipe it off on a towel. You can see that the, some of the spit's coming off there now, so. And you don't have to get too aggressive, just, I'm not pushing really hard, I'm just kinda glazing over the surface to make it smooth. I'll just wipe it off and see, you're gonna get some, get some spit off there, that's fine. We're going to darken up quite a bit with, with the midnight blackness. Now my midnight blackness is the older stock stuff, so it's, it's fairly water, watered down. So make sure that you're not real, you know, it's real clumpy or real thick. Um, spritz it again. And just put a line like that for now and prepare to get dirty. Whip my hands a little bit. So now we're just gonna start pressing it in. And just use your, your whole palm and your fingertips. And basically, that's all there is to it. Get some really cool patterns. You want darker, then you can throw some more on there. That's pretty watery right now, but it it dries pretty fast. Probably one out here because it's only like 40 degrees. We got two inches of snow last night, so it's a little chilly. And you can do different patterns. If you want smaller dots or or you can you know you can get the smaller and then do layers over it. You can get some really cool patterns. Now you can see on the bottom part here where it's not as um, light because there wasn't enough tongue oil and so it's sinking in the, the midnight blackness is sinking in um, to the to the blue so it's real important that you cover them very good with tongue oil I think that's that's the trick so I'm just gonna randomly a nice thing about it if you don't like it you can let it dry, and then you can come back and just spritz it with water again, and basically you can do, you know, whatever pattern you want. So now it's starting to dry out, so now I'm getting like little wrinkles, so you can get like that wrinkly effect. So that's kind of, that's kind of a cool, cool effect you can get. My 
my last one I did in the Blue Thunder was this one. Not quite. Let's see if I can get this one in there. As crazy as this board. And you really see how that darkened, even if you had a light board, that really darkens it down. So I'll let this dry, see how I like it. If I don't, then I can spritz more water on there and see what happens. Thanks for watching. So this is what I got so far. Uh, I like it. So I think I'm going to run with it. I'll clear coat it and uh, post a picture.